Weekly Standard's Mike Warren has been following this story. He joins us now from Washington. Uh, Mike, I presume you are not surprised by this by this story. Yeah, I don't think anybody should be surprised. You look at Al Sharpton's uh, career, he's sort of played the role of the charlatan of trying to sort of gin up outrage uh, with some, some fake or maybe not completely honest uh, stories about things. And of course, he's also had tax problems in the past. You, you put that all together and the fact that we're still talking about Sharpton in 2015, he's also somewhat of a, of a survivor. So I'm not surprised to see that he's found these creative ways to avoid paying taxes. Uh, but this is, you know, this looks pretty bad and I, I wonder if uh, he's finally going to have to uh, uh, you know, pay his bill. Well, I, you said you found creative ways. Is the creative way is that he <laughs> knows the president pretty well? In fact, very yeah. well. Exactly. I mean, he's somewhat of an unofficial advisor, and it would be one thing if he were just a TV host or, or, or just a, an agitator or just an activist, but he's all those things and fills that unofficial advisor role. I mean, he's an actual player in Democratic Party politics, and I think this should raise a lot of questions among Democrats about whether this is somebody they want to be uh, associating with. Well, isn't the lesson here that we need to reform the tax code so guys can't <laughs> game the system? Isn't that really the, the big lesson? That, that, that's one lesson. And of course, you know, whatever tax reform proposals uh, are, are coming up, a lot of times the big guys still find new ways to, uh, to, to find loopholes and things. But this also sounds like something where he's, he's actually delinquent uh, uh, according to uh, the, the laws. And so you have to wonder, why is the IRS not uh, really actively pursuing Mr. Sharpton? Well, I can't a lot of imagine questions. what the answer to that would be. Why isn't the <laughs> IRS knocking on his door? I mean, this is so apparent. I mean, it's outrageous is, yes is that the word that you're looking that's for? what i'm looking outrageous. for yes <laughs> i mike i mean you're talking you're not talking about some of the games that you can play as a reverend being a non-profit you're talking about his for-profit regular businesses that businesses have to pay taxes and there's a lot of question about what these businesses actually were doing. They had some, some of the same addresses, and, and then one folded, and then the next one popped up at the exact same place uh, with a completely different name. And, and I think it really plays into this sort of uh, entire story of Sharpton's career, which is mixing charity and public service in his own personal gain. And, uh, and you know, again, when the bill comes to, to be called, he's, he's nowhere to be found. I think that's a real well, problem for him, and, and maybe this is the end of the line. I guarantee you the IRS uh, goes after Shams pretty aggressively. Uh, they would for you, they would for me, but apparently not for him. All right. I appreciate it very much. Mike Warren, I uh, appreciate you coming on today. Thank you.